Hello, everybody. Oh, it's been a crazy few days. Uh, my phone uh, stopped working. Um, I spent several evenings on um, tech support, either by phone or online with my service provider, as well as Apple. And I have to say, Apple has been great, even though my phone is... Um, out of warranty they do still support the software so that was amazing um but it took and and running back and forth over the last couple of days to a rep local repair shop too because sending it to apple was just going to be too time consuming and uh you don't realize how much you use your phone till you don't have it um so i have been without a phone for a couple of days and it's i've been a little stressed out so i spent part of one day just you know feeling sorry for myself and watching some videos and i was watching um treasure books and she made these cute little quick journals you know um and i thought well maybe that's what i'll do with some scraps and it's my goal was just to use stuff i already had around uh, I wasn't going to print out anything. I wasn't going to make anything per se for it other than, you know, maybe a couple little cards here and there, but mostly to use what I had on hand. So these are the four little journals. They're all very different. They're made out of boxes um, that I got out of um, my recycling box. Um, so that was the other goal was to try and recycle stuff. And this is what I came up with. And um, I will uh, be posting these on Etsy uh, very soon. There will be little inexpensive ones. Because um, it's so close to Christmas, I do, I don't. I just did another Etsy order today to go to the States. I won't have time to get them to anyone in the States, I don't think, before Christmas. Uh, shipping would be ridiculous and not really worth these small items. Uh but I will be, um, uh, it is possible to get them to somebody in Canada where I live, um, depending on where you are. I can certainly check it out and see how quick and how much it would cost and price it out. If somebody is interested, please message me um, and I will find that out for you. So these are the four little journals that I made. And um, like I said, all different sizes and sort of mo pretty much a vintage theme. Uh, the one closest, to, the first one I did was this one. This was the one closest to kind of treasure books idea. Um, she uses a lot of this elastic in hers instead. I use string on this one. Um, and I put some little, as you can see, some little dangles on there. And this is, um, leftover printout that I had from, uh, when I did some stuff with Mrs. Cog. So that's from hers. And then I put, this is just some uh, recycled sari um, silk that I have. And I just made it come through the back to tie up the way that I had it tied. And I used just different pa paper and stuff I had lying around. I did not buy anything for this. I just grabbed what I had, you know, out of my scrap pile and made different little cards um and use different materials like shopping bag oh there's a little pocket there with a little piece of material in it and little tiny tet like um paper um some of my hand dyed paper in it I a little part of a uh a vintage dictionary and then you know a little something here in this corner but i want and this in this particular one it comes out I made it so that it's removable, so you can just slide it in and out if you want to, if you use it up or if you want to put in your own pages and take that out. Uh, but both both of these signatures are removable. And this one, so very, very simple little, little tag there sticking out, very simple little journals, little pocket there. That's actually some very old, um, uh, I always forget the name, but it's for accounting, it's for, from an accounting book. I oh, used it up. Used some of that little doily. So very, very simple little journal for that one. And then this one I made, I put a little hook thing there. This is more so that it doesn't come back out. But if you want to put that like that, you could do that as well. But that's more just so that the elastic does not come out here. And you have it to close. Um, and this, in this one, I sewed 
sewed the uh, signatures in so they are not removable. I did a three hole punt, um, st stitch with it and I actually put in one of my cards that I've had lying around for a while and it's different papers. You know, some cards I made back when that I've been sitting in my stash. So just trying to use up things that I had handy. Um, I still have lots of my stash, so I'm hoping that January, February, I'm going to be making a few more just because I really need to clean out my stash. It's a little tuck spot. And this is just when I did a group, um, um, a mass make of little things to like clusters to put in. That I can add some. Oh, there's a pocket there. I'll have to find something to put in there because there is definitely a pocket there. I'll get a little tag in there. And, you know, just different decorations, different papers. That's I had a little bit of this left, so I used of that in these journals. And that's just from a test print from when I was trying to find um, a journal that pages that had uh, the days of the week on it. Another little pocket there. So pretty simple little ones little pockets and tags basically they're supposed to be very quick idea was to you know just kind of make them quickly another one of my mass make things that I made so that's that one and we have this little chunky one which is actually three signatures and it's also been sewn in because uh, um, I, I wanted the signatures to stay in these and then this is also another picture from Mrs. Cog's course that I took left over and this is a print I believe it was a bee kit and I printed it on some vellum so I sewed it here so it's a little flip and some music that's from Phantom of the Opera parchment papers you know some washi tape in there a butterfly sticker another little tag this is actually from Nick the Booksmith it's, it's from uh, one of her miniature book kits and it's some uh, paper that she gives you and I thought it would I had already had it printed out it's actually been even sprayed so it, if it got a little damp it should be fine so, another tag there and pockets you know, just all kinds of little papers and this is from a Tim Holtz clearance thing I got. And I just, it's supposed to be like a, a flip book kind of thing. And I just used it in this way instead. A little owl and a little tuck spot there. And so this end, I just ran some ribbon through it. Here's some more. This came from uh, one of those monthly kit things. And this is from Pegasus Paper from her one of her fairy kits. A little tuck spot there with a little paper clip on it and a tiny little card in there. Oops, put that paper clip on right, Wendy. Another little tuck spot, some little tags in it. These are just scrappy little journals you could toss in your purse if you wanted to and take it with you. Uh, there's a little tag there and another one of those uh, mass make clusters I made. I made it into a pocket for that one. And then the last one is this one. And this one I did with ribbon instead of... Um, um, the stretchy stuff and it's they're they're attached together there but these these two signatures are actually removable as well but i punched holes through so if you have a hole punch you could make your own papers and put it through and then plus they're, they're sewn a bit on the in the middle as well but i decided to do this one a little bit differently so and there's a tuck spot here um, a belly band that i made with a couple of cards in it for journaling just very simple little collage on that one that's just a, a lace 
a belly band, and another little flip with the bees. I don't remember where I got that from. I'm trying to remember. And that's more from Pegasus paper. Just you know, different kits. And this is an experiment with stamping and, and alcohol links. More. That's from uh, Shakespeare, one of his plays. That's, you know, you could use that for a tuck spot in there. And then there's another tuck spot there. And that's another for my mask make. And more cards and little tags here. No tabs. Another belly band. Another little uh, belly band kind of thing here. Got tucked in. So all different little bits of paper and just stuff lying about that I just, I really need to clear up some of this stuff. A little, it could be um, a bookmark. And then there's another one here. It could be a card or bookmark. And a little tuck spot there with a couple little tags in it. This one's a little die cut one. And then there's this envelope. I really liked how this paper turned out. This is the only page that kind of really turned out with all these beautiful colors in it to this extent. And that's a little envelope with just a blank paper in it to journal on and goes in there. And that's that one. That's all four of them. I will be listing them. They, I'm not sure the prices right now. I'm just going to give that a quick thought because uh, they, are, they were quickly made. Um, with all the interruptions over the last couple of days, so they won't be um, heavy duty or anything like that, but they're, I think they're cute little journals. And I hope you like my video and I hope you subscribe. Thank you.